we've found the hatchway. Pretty cool, right? Let's go down and let's have a little look. Morning again everyone. I'm back in Hunsdon in Hertfordshire on the Essex Hertfordshire border and I'm joined by a subscriber, Jamie. Hello. And basically he's very kindly offered to show me round RF Hunsdon, the remains of the World War II airfield here. We've got a battlefield headquarters to locate, have a look at that. We've got some ablution blocks, some bits of hard standings, uh, an air raid shelter, pillboxes, bits and pieces really. So he's also got some uh, some photos put together as well here. So we're going to be referencing those and showing you a lot of that stuff. Some really good photos and sort of maps, uh, aerial views of of the former airfield. Uh, I think it's still used actually. Yeah, it's like a micro light. Hunt. It's only about half or quarter of the original airfield, but it's only grass now. So yeah, they only use like a little bit of that. Whereas, I say there's loads of other bits still left standing. In fact, we can see a couple of bits up here now, and oh, and there's a massive pillbox right there as well. So, if you remember from my Hunsdon Day Walk video, we, me and Candice, we we found some stuff over in the woods. There was like a, a slit trench. Uh, where soldiers would have defended um, some hangars, did you say? The hangars are all gone now, the last one was demolished in the, I think, early 2000s after it was badly damaged. It would have been roughly, probably where that barn would have been. Oh, okay. So you would have had hangars there and, yeah, the pillbox, the slit trench, the, me and Candice found would have defended that, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's so we, I think we kind of found more of the perimeter defences really, we, our walk didn't really take us through this but anyways, right, let's get exploring, we'll show you what we find. So in front of us we have what Jamie tells me is an air raid shelter. Yes, about all the earth over the top. With that. Yes, yeah, so it's just a structure, no earth over the top, they'd normally be, you know, earth covered. Um, I don't know if we can oh, get down into this to have a little closer look. Really, really well preserved, and they've they put like a, a fence over it just so people can't go in and loiter around in there. How cool is that? Pretty sturdy looking as well. On the other side, there's the chimney. Oh, there's a chimney on the other side, okay. That's square in front of you. That's the part of the chimney. Ah, so this, this square on the floor here, yeah, that's part of the part of the chimney that was on top of the air raid shelter. So that would have been like what a ventilation shaft. Yeah, more right. That's the cool. Door in front of you. Around the other side of the air raid shelter you can see this would have been like the original door entrance into the shelter and we think there could be original brackets on there. And then you step inside you've got this square open here and that's where that square bit of concrete would have been used. That was would have been like the chimney or the it's got the air vent ventilation shaft so people could breathe in there. I say because this would have been submerged, it would have been under a huge mound of earth, but it's pretty cool. And next door to the air raid shelter, we've got a pillbox. Now, this isn't just any type of pillbox, it's nicknamed a mushroom pillbox. And go on, Jamie's going to explain what, what's the exact name of it again? It's an FC type pillbox. 
a FC type pillbox. The structure in the middle and it branches out like a mushroom. That's pretty cool. Wow, and you can see that original sort of metal handrail around the side as well. So yeah, mushroom shaping design. See if we can uh, crawl in and have a little look. There's a bit of a standing water in it. Yeah, so you can see sort of the, the slit that the soldiers would have looked out from. Yeah, this is all, all flooded. Let's see if I can step onto this wheel. I've got the chest waders with me. There we go. Surprisingly really well preserved inside. It's like next to no graffiti as well, which is always good to see. Yeah, I'm liking this uh this original handrail, that's really cool. It's a shame this side of the, the bunker's been demolished a bit, but the rest is in really good condition. Show you around the other side as well. Not a lot different. So this is Jamie's aerial photograph of the airfield. Is this actually World War during the war? So yeah. this is during the war. This. And so we're sort of around here, did we say? Yeah, around that corner. Around this there. corner. And this is like the perimeter track of the airfield. And of course that's where the uh, air raid shelter and the mushroom pillbox are. Over in the distance over there, um, not far from the woodland where me and Candice went and found all that stuff. See this building just here? That is the parachute store apparently according to Jamie yes. I so don't have a photo of that unfortunately no photos unfortunately but there's a photo online there's a photo online yeah so uh, have a look probably on wartime airfields if you look at that website they've got information on this place and salvage work I would I've heard of that one wartime airfields yeah good website so check that out if you want to find any more info about this place and other other airfields from the war definitely but yeah Parachute store over there, pretty cool. Um, I think we're heading that way next, didn't we? Going around there, we can link up to the parachute store. Ah, we're going to go and have a butcher's at it, cool. Right, we'll see you there next. Excuse the noise, there's a lot of uh, earthworks and building work going on here, but this would have been the parachute store on the airfield. It's all sealed up now, we've got those big double doors there. That looks like a modern addition, that chimney on the side, doesn't it? It does look like it. Again, not sure without going in. It's pretty cool. Obviously, there were windows here they've bricked up since. Pretty neat. And this woodland over here is where me and Candice found all like the, the perimeter defences, the slit trench, uh, the pillbox, uh, what turns out was the we reckon was the ammunition store um, the th uh, third structure we found in the woods on that video that's pretty cool though the parachute block I like that ok I'm back in the woods now where me and Candice found the pillbox on our day walk there's old bits of cars but we reckon that's probably post war and then here is that slit trench uh, which would have been used by by soldiers to defend the uh, like aircraft hangars and stuff nearby. So this was like kind of the perimeter defences, and then further in the woods over there is the ammunition store. And uh, what else? Well, there was a toilet block, but Jamie reckons that might not have been like wartime. That could be. I, I 
could be. We're, it for a while, so we're not. It could be. Yeah, we're not sure, but yeah, it's 50-50, We're not sure, but yeah, it's pretty cool being back here again. Um, there's a new chair that's randomly appeared as well. <laughs> we're heading through that way into the next forest to have another look at more structures. We're still in the first wood. You might just be able to make this out. There is a like a concrete path, an original World War II concrete path that would have led to some hard standing and stuff through through the woods here. Well, of course, don't know if don't know if would the woods have still been here during the war. Probably not, they would have cleared all this and it's, it's going back pretty quick as you can see. Um, ah, look, you can sort of see a clearer view of this this path still here, the edge of it there. And yeah, it goes from somewhere just beyond where Jamie is, all the way past my bag, all the way through the trees there. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And that's, so far it's cracking in a few places, but... I'm not sure what it would have led to, but it's another, another feature of the airfield. We've followed the original uh, concrete footpath that's still laid down here in the wood. And we've come out to just a pile of rubble. It looks like there was an old building of some kind here. We're not sure what. You can see bits and pieces, brickwork, stuff like that. At the other end of the path up there was a big mound of earth which I reckon was a lot of hardcore and rubble that they've broken up and just piled up there and there's bits of brickwork and stuff scattered around so obviously there was a structure there as well that's been demolished because it's literally right next to the microlight club like the small airfield and then there's this as well so obviously the footpath linked them up we don't know what if anyone does know you know what I'm going to say get in the comments as always inform us um, but yeah pretty cool something going on here definitely and uh, the main footpath the public right way is through there so we're going to carry on along there now you might not be able to see this too clearly through the undergrowth but just next to the footpath here in the wood Jamie spotted this sort of circular hole in the ground with brickwork around it it's been filled in a little bit and there's like a trench going off there it could be, do you say a mortar position? It could be a, a one man, two man post, maybe. Yeah, so just a small little defensive position. Looking over the trees there. Yeah, so you've got the, the open fields out there as well, so this, yeah, probably would have looked out towards that, but I mean, it's not very deep now because it's been filled in with a lot of rubble and stuff, but you can sort of see there's a shape of some brickwork around here. Yeah onwards we're in the next little woodland here on the edge of the airfield we found some maybe potential uh, remains of brickwork that could be a trench but best of all we found ourselves a bunker and this one is open so I reckon we've got to go in and take a look it'd be rude not to uh, get a head torch out for that one let's have a little look round it first it was a bit overgrown getting into it to sort of knock a few of the stinging nettles down to get to it. And so, do you know what type of pillbox this would have been? Um, I'm not sure. No? Alright. It's uh, probably got one of those funny insignias. But, oh, uh, he's got these quite wide openings here and then like a narrow sort of thing. So it would have given the gunners like a a wider range of fire I guess you, know, you can sort of see you know a, a wider field of vision similar to the one that's in the other wood that um, I had a look at with Candice last time yeah anyways I think there's an old wheel arch there right Go in and uh, take a look. Entrance is uh, back round this side. Jamie's just spotted this. That's a uh, Second World War barbed wire fence post. It's a bit mangled, but just about to see it. Yeah, literally just found that 
laying on the floor. Well done. Decent. There's a lot more going on in this wood, I think, this one. Right, into the pillbox. crawl through here. It's quite a low ceiling. Ah, and then it opens right out and I can now stand up. Some random chains in here and you can see sort of the little steel bars going across the windows. I don't think they're original though. I think the landowners have put those in to stop people trying to squeeze through those little holes in. Got all of these. I'm guessing they're spiders, isn't they? Like Daddy long legs, all, all just huddled around. How creepy is that? Original beam um, uh, maker's mark on the tin roof. Oh, is there? So we've got original wooden beam, and there's the maker's mark there. If we can read that, uh, I can't make it out. Staff? No. I can't work it out. Oh, I don't know. It's got like it looks like it's got a crown in the middle, like some yeah. kind of. That's pretty cool. A little ammunition store here. That's the entrance we come in through, and let's make our way round this way. where a lot of these are starting to get filled in there's earth coming through I think you can see where people look like they've had fires or something and they've got in here before the floor's relatively clean though and this brickwork in the middle is in like exceptional condition have a 360 degree view looking out of this gun slits all the way around this is held up by this big central brickwork column in the middle and then that's our entrance and exit out of here not far from the pillbox we just went in we found the next ammunition store which has still got its blast ball intact just about as you can see it's on a bit of a wonk and yeah this one's been locked up again you might just be able to see inside so it's same design as the one in the first wood back on my day walk video with candice so this is what it would have been jamie says was yeah ammunition storage stuff which makes sense because there's there's no real like observation points and stuff to look out from Nothing left in there now, apart from an old bucket. Yeah. And there's, once again, I've seen this again, there's like a ladder in there going up to uh, the roof. So there could be like, maybe an, an escape hatch or something at the top, see where I'm pointing the camera, where the light is. Might have to go and have a look at that, see if uh, we can see what's on top of the roof. Yeah, I've just sort of, uh climbed up there and had a little look and there is a hatch on the roof I don't know if you're going to be able to see this if I peer this over there you might just be able to see it there's the hatch there so I can't really see I'm just having to point the camera at it <laughs> hope for the best yeah there we go we're here at the present day microlight club airstrip here so it only uses about a quarter of the original site of RF Hunston and here's the, the famous war memorial here so have a little look at that quickly
This we believe is one of the original runways that crisscrossed across the airfield and possibly this here might have been a position for the lights, the runway lights and stuff. So let's have a little look at Jamie's uh, photograph of the World War II aerial photograph. So we are about there roughly. So we're there yeah? Yeah. And you can see these original runways going across like that so we believe this to be one of those yeah yeah we reckon and then you got sort of other tracks here so this wouldn't be this wouldn't have been the runway would it no that's the perimeter track or tax that sort of taxiway sort of thing that's taxiway perimeter track yeah that's your runway and then you've got like these grass strips here that's modern that's part of the microlight club over there uh, I believe so yeah we're just following the perimeter track all the way round and finding all the defences along the way. In our third bit of woodland off the perimeter track we've come across uh, what are these ammunition blocks yeah, we probably. reckon. Ammunition storage uh, buildings, there's some old sort of foundations and bits and pieces dot around the trees, some old brickwork and stuff but nothing of real real interest just piles of rubble really. These are look particularly interesting. Don't know if we're going to be able to get into them because of we've got the steel. Here we are, pretty big buildings. Jamie's found an entrance into this one. I'll go and have a little look. Ah, oh, here we go. Just going to need your torch for that one. Need the head torch, right? Go and have a little look. Where's the old air vent shaft? That's cool. Look at that. Light fittings still intact. Light fittings still intact. Wow. Brackets as well. Shelving brackets. That is cool. That's really well preserved. Yeah, that's it. It's just, just there. Decent. And your circuit, all the light switches and everything would have been here. Pretty cool, isn't it? And then there's the door that we couldn't get in through. Okay, next door to the one that we've just been in is another one sort of exactly similar design. Jamie says this one could be where a homeless person's living, so... Most of the stuff is gone from in here that used to be in here. Oh, most of it's gone, okay. Let's have a look, yeah. There's a plug socket. Oh, yeah. Just randomly. Just randomly, yeah. And, yeah, you can see someone's been living in here. And, yeah, that's a sit up bench. There was a bench press somewhere. Oh, yeah. There's actually a bench press there station. Used to be. I don't think it's not here. Kai, if, if, if I was squatting here, if I was homeless here, this is definitely be my setup of choice. You, you've got to have some gym equipment in here. Oh, oh. He's uh, put up some doors as well to keep out the draft. There's the old fuse, bo fuse boxes, light switches. Safe looks still comfy. And there's a, a solid fuel stove on the floor. That one actually looks in pretty good condition. Let's try to put some flooring down or something here. Yeah. Do you know what? It's actually quite a spacious little uh, thing. There's a picture frame up here as well. Yes, that was, it was here, I think. There was a shelf, like a stack of shelves here. Yeah. It had a toothbrush on it, some yeah. rubber brushes. 
these ball balls, if you can see, yeah. and a picture of a farm, like a painting of a farm, with this tin tool around it. Decor. If I can find the picture, I'll send it. Here's the ball balls, the, the wrapper they come in, it's a brush. Yeah, that's the brush, so the toothbrush. And the yeah, it's the sit-up bench that gets me though, that's just great. It's an old canvas, an old cushion. Apart from that, though, yeah, there's not a lot of like World War II stuff left in it, really. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. There was a couple. I think just one sleeping bag in there. Ah, sleeping bags have gone from there. You can see this is where they would have had a fire pit. <laughs> There's like some old seats and stuff like that. Location, location, location. Definitely. Probably see it on homes under the hammer in about oh, 10 years. You never know. <laughs> Quite cosy really when you think about it. Not bad at all. Not bad. See, so yeah, there's two ammunition stores from World War II found more structures in this third wood here uh, could be ammunition storage buildings or toilets ah um, and a bushwhack through a lot of this stuff there's some uh sorry oh. Yeah, you can sort of see the roof there. And yeah, so there would have been sort of some kind of foundation here. Definitely something there. And then you've got some more here as well. Oh, there's quite a few here. Wow. Could have been toilets. I'm not sure, very small, small sort of buildings, so. Yeah. Can have a little look at them. Ah, uh, so they're exactly the same. So these follow the same pattern then of design. Yeah, is this this entrance with like a sort of glass wall sort of then you've got your, it goes into your main building. Ah, so there would have been more here, okay look you can see foundations along here so this is just part of it so that's just like the entrance yeah, way like two entrances and then you've got the actual rooms inside so toilet block could have been here then maybe possibly yeah and then so what and then you reckon this one here yeah, is the could, same design or? yeah yeah cool so i can see it now yeah there's the foundation, going around there. foundation around here sort of where my bag is going around that could have been like connected to it as well I'm guessing that yeah. bit there so that would have been one big building so we've got two big buildings here that followed the same design pattern I can see some brickwork over there actually so yeah that's mirroring that and then this one over here we're not too sure of uh, yeah no I just fell down it yes yeah, it concrete footpath through here into here Trace of windows, oh, air bricks. I'm not sure though what it could have been. Uh, ah. Yeah, sort of same sort of uh, room design as that one there. Could be toilets, shower blocks, I don't know. I mean there's there's no like individual cubicles or anything, so it's it's difficult to say really. Once again, if anyone knows, enlighten us, get in the comments. We're out of the woods and we are at the battlefield headquarters bunker. So it's underground, 
this is the thing I've been looking forward to the most. This is cool. <laughs> Definitely. So this we reckon could be the uh, the escape hatch and stuff. But what we've also found is over here. So what Jamie's leaning against now, that's what would have been like the observation slit kind of thing, the thing yeah. that would have they'd be able to see above ground because of course it's all underground. Um, this here is the main entrance and there's some little steps going down and then around into the thing. So I reckon what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter this way, okay, because it's a lot clearer I can see, and probably come out the escape hatch. Pretty cool. I'm looking forward to this one. Okay, we're just in the, the main entrance way of Battlefield headquarters and <laughs> Pretty small gap I've got to squeeze through and then some rubble to climb over but excuse the view and yeah it is flooded as well so definitely glad I had the waders on it's original light fittings as well whoa blimey right Oh, that's pretty cold. <laughs> right, let's try through here first. We've got some original woodwork as well. <sighs> original light switches as well, that's cool. Right. Okay, oh. Oh. Blimey, that's like up to my waist. Some light fittings here still. God, I hope these are watertight. <laughs> Pretty big building. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get into this one. Oh, uh, I know that's, maybe it's like an observation point up there or something. I don't know, no, it looks filled in. Yeah, got all these original, I mean it's now rusted light fittings and stuff. Original wood still there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right, I've got to be careful where I stand as well. There's this wire across. I don't know if I can get through. Look at this, so well preserved. Can't really see what's on the ground down here, but let's go back out this way. We'll try and explore each of these, these rooms if we can. the depth of the water now the original light fitting again <sighs> look at that these old light switches these little wooden hatchways and windows I really don't want to touch any of this water <laughs> 
underneath it. And I think I can see the emergency hatchway there. So it's easy to get into. It's just flooded permanently. Let's see if we can get around this way. Right. Really be careful where I walk. I'd say the water's sort of clearing a bit so I can sort of see what's under the surface, but okay, there's a massive propane tank in here. Let's try and avoid that. Let's go, I think it's safer to go back this way. Those light switches are incredible still. The fact they're still intact. Let's see if we can see now that's the one we went in. So I'm counting, uh, I think there's three rooms and this corridor linking all of them together. There's an old bike down here. So that's the entrance way that I've come in. That was that room, I think it could have been three or four rooms actually. So, uh, ah, no, you can't get down there. That's a dead end. Yeah, there's a light switch there. Um, <coughs> let's go back the way we come. Trying to find that escape hatch. Oh, where I've walked through it, or I've disturbed all the ground, and now I can't see what's underneath the the water. So basically, yeah, if the uh, if the, the airfield was attacked and stuff, they could basically plot battlefield tactics, how to defend or recapture the airfield from a safe underground position. In a radar tower, you'd be a bit exposed. Right, let's get out through here. Cough. They didn't make these for tall people. And then whoa, into this room here is, is the observation post. So they could have peered above ground and looked out through this slit here. Clearly people have been sleeping in this bit. There's old cushions and stuff. There's Jamie. Yeah, this is cool this. And then yeah. I don't know if it was the escape escape shaft or emergency exit, whatever, would have led out to it, out to the top, so I'm going to climb up there. But yeah, what a cool, cool building. And so this is the only bit that's not flooded, the observation post. And yes, we went through there, oh, it's a really tight, tight little entranceway through there and stuff to get up to here and then go up this ladder here back up top now through the uh, the emergency escape hatch we believe just climbing down the side of the observation uh, post thing on top of the bunker and you've got these little trenches we believe they're more like cubby holes that just seem to go around the outside of the uh, battlefield headquarters bunker it's like a little uh, depression there I don't know what that could have been and then there's another one over here as well 
bad feeling my chest waders have got a leak in because one foot feels really squidgy. There's another one in here. I um, don't know if you can see it, but I'm not, I'm not going to go in there anyway because it just looks like kind of like a little a cubby hole, like a, a cavity there. And I don't know what it would have been for, but if anyone knows, let us know again. <laughs> yeah, the rest is all pretty overgrown, really. But yeah, that's the entrance, main entrance into the bunker here. It's all underground here. Observation point there, and the escape hatch is where Jamie is. Yeah. It's a lot underground actually, you don't, it doesn't look like much up, up top, but there's say four rooms we reckon, as you said there's like a plotting room. Been radio, been sleeping, take, uh, like quarters, anything in there, and then you've got toilets as well. Yeah, home from home. I've always wanted a bunker in my garden or like you know when people buy houses and they've got a bunker in their garden yeah. or something, can you imagine if you have one of these, it'd be so cool. Like I'd, I'd just live down there, I'd like make it livable and habitable. Yeah, man cave, definitely. Just live down there, be great. Once again, just up from the battlefield headquarters bunker, which is just there. This is the perimeter track. And then this is the original runway, or one of the original runways, going right across the airfield. So you can really see sort of the, the shape and the layout of of the airfield really and um, you can sort of see where we've been and everything it's really amazing um, still following the perimeter track just in this farm field here is the final pillbox it's the same sort of design as the ones we've been in Jamie informs me that you can't get in this one it's sealed up and stuff so I'm not going to bother walking across the farmers crops risk getting caught to have a look but look at the others it's basically the same as that um, it looks in pretty good nick it's got some trees growing growing through it probably but uh, there's a tree going through it oh there is there is actually a tree growing through it yeah probably ain't got long left then um yeah that's the final pillbox next to the perimeter track here so we've walked all the way around like, almost as far as the eye can see like that woodland over there that's where me and candice found all the stuff the first time i come here is the the parachute uh, storage thing there. Um, there's that air raid shelter and the, the mushroom pillbox that we found earlier on. Then of course we found all the other stuff around there and the battlefield headquarters bunker. That was cool. Definite highlight. Um, we've seen yeah, the, the central, the original runways cross, crossing the, uh, the field here. It's a big old site. Very big site. Let's have a look where we are on the original plan. We are roughly here. Yeah, so, the runway is there. Yeah, just there. We're just round there, and then we turn off onto the main road. That's it. Here. We can walk down there, up and around. Oh, okay. So yeah, we've done all of that. Today. That's pretty cool. Excellent. We're back in Hunsdon and we're outside the Crown Pub where I went last time with Candice and I think we've earned ourselves a cheeky drink. drink so we're gonna pop in there and uh, yeah grab a drink and head off really good day out we've had uh, exploring RAF Hunsdon we've pretty much surveyed the entire site found loads of stuff big thank you to Jamie all right. for all of his research and stuff hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching get in the comments Cheers for your support. See you again soon. Bye.